it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. We're back with a user request, this time from Tokes. That's at Death Tokes. Clearly taking some deadly Tokes on YouTube. Tokes asks, how do I modify the solar activated automated lights in such a way that they will always turn on at night and they will always turn off in the morning but I have an override switch so that I can turn the lights on and off whenever I please. Here is that circuit. You will use the same components that you use in the basic solar activated light. You'll notice we have a solar panel, a branch, a blocker, and a light up there. That's what the basic automated light does. When the sun comes up, it blocks the blocker, the light turns off. When the sun goes down, it no longer blocks the blocker, and the light turns on. What you see here is a much more complicated triggering mechanism. This is not a basic circuit. If you're not comfortable with electricity, you're not gonna have a good time putting this one together. For those of you who are a little more intermediate to advanced level, let me walk through how to wire this up. The most important thing you need to know about this circuit is that we are going to use the memory cell to trigger the lighting circuit. And one thing you need to know about the memory cell is if you are applying power to the set, it's got three handles, set, reset, and toggle. If you're applying power to set, this thing's gonna stay on. If you're applying any power to reset, it'll stay off. You will not be able to use toggle if either of these have power. That's why we're gonna use some timers so that our signals to set and reset are only momentary pulses to turn the light on and off with the sun. That leaves the toggle available for any other input. I'm gonna use a button for our example, but you could use, you know, if you've got light switches through your base at your different doors, you could chain them all up to the toggle and this will work the same way, all right? So let me show you how this is wired up. Taking the main power off this battery, we're gonna take all the power out of the power out. We're going to run it into the memory cell. We're going to run the output. We will not be using inverted. Today we're using output to the lighting circuit. All of this power right here when this is on, in this case all 47 units, can power your lights. So as many lights as you can run off of that. We branched off three power. Three. First branch, three. Goes to this branch. This branch, two, branch out to here. This branch, one. The net result there, this has one power, this has one power, this has one rust watt. Using the wrong words. It's been a while, guys. So you got one rust watt off of each of these one, two, three outputs that are open. We're gonna use this to power our triggers. This one, one rust watt to this timer. One rust watt to this timer. One rust watt to the blocker. All right. Now, the lower timer is going to pulse to trigger our reset. This timer turns off the light. This timer is gonna go up to the set. The top timer triggers turning on the light. This turns on the light, this turns off the light. The blocker's output goes to the top timer. So when the sun goes down and this blocker is no longer blocked, it triggers the top timer, this pulse activates the light. When the sun comes up, this is the important part, this is tricky, we take the power out to this branch. You take the branch out, the first extra rust watt that comes off of here above, right now it's set to 16. So when the sun's coming up and that 17th rust watt hits, it's gonna hit the branch out first. This comes up, this goes over to this timer, and that first extra watt when the sun comes up triggers the reset. Just a momentary pulse. On the power out handle, 
this comes up and goes to the blocker. So when the 18th, 19th, or 20th watt hits, it blocks this power. This resets the circuit. There's nothing that happens when this hits. The light's already off. There's nothing to happen. However, by blocking this, we have now created the potential for this to be unblocked and send power to the timer again when the sun goes down. If you don't have this piece, it won't work. So now, we have a completed circuit where when the sun comes up, it triggers the timer to pulse the reset. It activates the blocker to reset this circuit. When the sun goes down, it drops this block, triggers the timer, timer triggers the set, and nothing happens down here. Because we used a pulse to activate the set and a pulse to activate the reset, the timer will always work, or the toggle, shit, the toggle will always work. I'm gonna put that on this button, boom. Press it and the light turns on, press it and the light turns off. There's your override, tokes. So, to prove it, let me go to the admin. The light is off. We're gonna make it nighttime. The light turns on. We're gonna make it daytime. If you're ready, server, there you go. Light turns off. Circuit works, right? Cool. Now, prove that it still works. I'm gonna turn the light on during the daytime. I'm gonna make it night. Top timer fires, nothing changes. The memory cell was already on. The next morning, sun comes up. Bottom timer fires, fires the reset, light turns off. Ta-da. Just like that. Tokes, there's your answer. For everyone else, good luck and don't suck.